Today I'm going to show you how to tie the fisherman's bend. Well, in the example that we're showing here, this is actually the double fisherman's bend, but I'll show you the difference between the two. So this is a very versatile knot and, and one that's important to learn because it can be used for so many different things. In the first example, we're using the, the double fisherman's bend in order to attach two ropes together. In the second example, we're using the same line, but we are tying the ends together in order to form a loop. And in the third example, which is kind of where it gets its name, we are actually just doubling it over a ring, in my case, my wedding ring, but more often than not, that's going to be a fishing hook, and tying it back, the double fisherman's bend back on itself in order to form a slip loop knot, which will cinch down on that ring. So this can be used in a variety of different applications. Well, we're going to use the larger rope so it's a little bit more clear. And I'm going to show you first how to tie the fisherman's bend, and then I'll show you how to tie the double fisherman's bend. So we've got our two lines together. And we're going to start off making the fisherman's bend first. So you want to kind of lean these or to twist these over so you get your lead line it's going to cross in either direction so for the time being we'll just work on one side and you want to kind of pinch this uh, where the two lines cross and we're going to go around this one in this direction because this line came in from the bottom we're going to wrap to the top uh, going around the top so we want to go completely around that line and our main line or, our or the line that we started with and then we're just going to snub that back in there so basically all we're doing is making a an overhand uh, knot. Now we'll come to the other side and we'll do exactly the same thing only we're going to go around the other direction. So we'll go around both of them and we'll lift the loop here and we'll send it right back through the side we came out and we'll kind of snug them together and then when you pull them together those two X's will meet. You kind of see how one went in one way one went in the other way so when you put it together that forms the fisherman's bend. Now, more often than not, this is done in the double fashion. So let's just take this apart real quick and then we'll tie the double fisherman's bend. So for the double, you're going to want a little bit extra lead line because you're going to need and you're just going to take another wrap. So we're going to start off the same way, going to cross it right there, kind of pinch it. We're going to go around once and we're going to go around a second time. And then we're going to go in between those two loops and then snug it down. So we get two wraps around that rope. Then on the other side, we're going to do exactly the same thing, except we're going to go in the opposite direction. So we'll go around once and then twice, lift those loops, and we'll stick it right in between those two loops. And then we can snug that one up as well. Then when we pull them together, again, those X's will kind of parallel with one another and meet up. And now you have formed the double fisherman's loop. If you, when you've done this correctly, you'll have an X on one side or two X's actually. And then on the other side, it'll be four parallel wraps. And that is the double fisherman's bend. Now we're going to do this same knot, only this time we're going to go around my wedding ring. We're going to capture an object. So this is my stand in for a hook eye. So we'll send it the rope through first or a line through. And then we're going to just form it in exactly the same way. We're going to pinch it here. Let me get a little extra line to work with. We're going to pinch it there, and then we're going to go around once. We'll go around a second time, and then we'll lift those two loops. Well, I didn't give myself enough line yet, so let me try that one more time. We'll give a little extra line here. We'll go around it once, and then we'll go around it a second time. And then we can snake that one right in between those two, and then we can snug it all down. And now we formed a slip knot. And if we do it correctly, you'll have that same X pattern on one side and the double parallels on the other. And when this is cinched up, it's going to make a very, very tight knot that's pretty much impossible to get off, especially in smaller string and rope. So that is the double fisherman's bend.